Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here As you can see we're playing Forza Horizon 4, but not technically playing it. I had an idea. I saw something. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this for you. Because usually when you see someone playing Forza or Gran Turismo or any kind of racing game, you don't really get to see what they actually buy. What cars sit in their garage you only usually see what they're playing at the time and sometimes people take you through their garage while they're playing or whether they're picking but I decided to do something a bit different I'm gonna take you on a garage tour for those of you racing fans, your gearheads, your Forza fans and as you can see we're, we're starting with the Camaro I actually have a, a 2020 Camaro LT1 it's a V8 muscle car, all that. Now, unfortunately, they don't have uh, the 6-gen refresh in this game. They have a 6-gen. I used to have a 6-gen. Uh, a now I have a 6-gen refresh. I had a V6, now a V8. So, yeah, that's what I have in the game. I just decided to buy a V8. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what I have in terms of what has been given to me, gifted, stuff like that, and what I actually drive in this game on a regular basis. There are cars in here that I'll never touch. Uh, I don't drive Japanese, I just never have. Um, like, for example, you, you're gonna see the current car I have is Camaro uh, Z01 2017. As we go through the Acura, I'll, I'll never use. I don't know how I got it, probably in a spin. And most of the time when you go to sell them, unless you're selling them in the, the auction house, you get nothing for it. And I just haven't done the auction house on these yet. Normally, I just pretty much, all right, see, it's $25,000 credit. That's what I sell it for or less just to get rid of them. Now, certain ones I'll keep because I think they're interesting, whether they were, uh, as you can see, this one's a, uh, the what do you call it, 2016 Alfa Romeo, the Guila Quad. I, yeah, I can't quad, quad, so this is a Forest Edition event influence boost. So it's cool. These I, I, I won't get rid of. This has a credits boost. Um, I, I just keep them. Now the Alumi Craft. Never heard of these before, but I know they're uh, off-road, so they're nifty. Now this is one of my faves. One of my faves because it is the Warthog. Let me show it to you. Doop, doop. So, yeah, that's the Warthog. Actually, I think a better way to do that would just be like this. And to click on that, View Car. So, as you can see, it's the actual Warthog. So, you, you can actually walk around it. This is the Halo 4 slash 5 Warthog. And I didn't really mess with it visually. You can. You can actually change the paint colors and everything. Um, you can even get in the car. So. But, yeah, that's an actual Warthog within the game. So. See, I, I got an Aston Martin. This one I actually bought. Um, it, it was a DLC. I, I do like the Aston Martins out of the European ones. That's really the only thing that I like. I, I've always had a, a thing for Aston Martin because of James Bond. So, for those of you who know, you know. Now, I do have a couple of Audis. They were gifted or they came in a pack or something like that. I do think the R8 is pretty nifty. Uh, otherwise, most of these other ones I could I'd pass on. Um, yep. Yeah. And then Austin Healy, I think it's British. I know absolutely nothing about an Austin Healy. Now, this one was another one that was, um, 
I can't remember if I wanted in a spin. A lot of these I, I, I went in spins. Um, next we have the, the, the Bentleys. Yeah, ooh, Bentley. Uh, honestly, they do nothing for me. People seem to love these things. And I just went, all right, if, if it's for you, for you. BMWs. Uh, yeah. Bowler. Bowler's, I, I've never heard of Bowler before. So it's extreme off-road category. Um, again, I think this is another one uh, given in a spin or in one of the past. Yeah, it was in a spin. And I was like, all right, I'll keep it. I'll just mod the crap out of it and I haven't done it yet. But uh, now the next one, the Veyron Supersport. 2011, I was... Uh, I think this came in a spin too. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, the Bugatti Veyron. So, um, you know, it, it's it's no Chevy, but man, this thing's a beast. I know it's fast. $2,200,000 credit. So, how about how about we we view the car? Yeah, um, most of them, if you don't see them in... Usually, if you don't see them in blue or black, most of my cars that I buy, you'll see, are blue or black. Um, they came in a spin. Because even when you get DLC, if you choose to add it to your collection, you can change the color. This is a matte red too. That's actually pretty nice. Maybe I did something to this? I, I don't know. I don't I actually don't remember having this car. So hey, but it's pretty nifty. Let's go back to the garage. <laughs> Buick Regal, that one I uh, bought. I haven't souped it up. Uh, Cadillac, I decided to make a, a nice shiny Cadillac. So, I've got the ATSV and the CTSV. I was actually thinking of buying, not a 2016, but uh, down the line after uh, my, uh, my Camaro, and it's <laughs> when my Camaro's run its course, thinking about getting a, a, a Cadillac later on, but I'll probably stick with Chevy, even though they're the same manufactured GM. Another off road. This one I thought was funny. Oh, that's a Can-Am. This one's the Caterham. Don't know anything about this manufacturer. Again, I think it's British, but I just thought it was funny looking, and that one came in a pack, if I'm not mistaken. And these are my Chevys, as you can tell. And if you guys aren't bored by now, thank you for sticking around. Hit that subscribe button, because this, this is the meat and potatoes of the video, my Chevy collection. So, 2019 ZR1, uh, as you can see, a lot of these were uh, downloaded, and I do have those packs. Uh, I have the VIP edition, as you can see by looking at the crown. Now, people will probably say, oh, you say you play this all the time. Yeah, why are you only level 39? I spend a lot of my time in the garage. I drive around in the open world, but spend a lot of the time in the garage. Because in a lot of spins and whatnot, I just get a lot of money. So, uh, you can't see it, but it's actually behind the little box that you're watching me in. I do have 11,875,918 uh, credits. Yeah. So, the, these are all my different modded Camaros. Uh, 2018 ZL1, 2018 ZL1, 2019 ZR1, Silverado. Uh, yeah, I got the racing Silverado. I was like, yeah, I think I just downloaded it that way. I uh, didn't change the um, the library or paint job or anything like that. Now this is the one that I have that closest, uh, close, I guess, closest, close, close resembles my Camaro. But this is a supercharged uh, 6.2 liter V8. I have a 6.2 liter V8. That's what makes this sucker so fast. Now I have a blue one because my previous Camaro was blue. I had a, a blue 2016. Love that Camaro, but um, I decided to trade it in for a Colorado. Now, this one was actually gifted to me from a friend because this was really hard to get. You can only get during certain events. He got it knew, knowing that I had just bought uh, a Colorado, and then he gifted it to me. It originally was the color of my, of my Colorado. We actually have two. And I traded in mine to get the new Camaro, and then I kept uh, this Colorado that's uh, this color. So this cl very closely resembles 
uh, the one that I actually have in front of my house, except uh, I do not have the ZR2. Don't have the off-road stuff. I have uh, the standard uh, uh, utility. It's a, a my truck is a workhorse, so. But it is the same V6 and everything. Uh, it actually, besides the hood, it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, let's take a look and see what else I got. Uh, Corvette Z06 2002, ZR195, uh, Camaro Z28 79. A number of these I haven't uh, modded yet just because I started buying them and it's just <laughs> the, the, the credits stack up and I wanted to put my credits into other things like the Supernova. Oh, this thing's this thing's a beast. I got the Super Sport Coupe, the uh, what do you call it? the um, yeah, '69 uh, Corvette '53. I got two '53 Corvettes. Do not know why. And then the utility sedan '19. This one I maxed out just because I thought it was hilarious. Uh, and that's it for the Chevys. So it's three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 18 Chevys, uh, one Chrysler, Dodge, every time uh, I see a Durango, I think of the Rob Zombie, he's like, hey, my Durango, number nine, okay, I'll stop, uh, Durango, Viper, ACR, Viper GTS, Viper GTS, ACR, uh, Charger SRT, Hellcat, Challenger RT, uh, cool. Gifted them or won them or whatnot, or they came in a pack. Never really cared too much for. I'm not a Dodge guy. And then the Charger Daytona Hemi, 1969. Those weird spoilers. Uh, now, this one I thought was hilarious. D8 GTO 2013 Donker Vu Donker. <laughs> Exomotive. Another off road. Ferraris, yeah, I've been collecting the Ferraris too. Don't race them. I just, as I get them, I just keep them. So as you can see, you got plenty of Ferraris. Now, I have bought a couple of Fords because I won them, and then every time I'd go to sell them, they're not worth anything, just like in real life. Dun, dun, dun. It's really slow. It's a, it's a Mustang. It's really slow. That's what they're good at being. Ford GT, also very slow. Ford Focus. The, now this one, I, I actually bought the van and I'm like, yeah, this is a Ford edition work van. I'm going to up the wazoo. Uh, FP, FPV limited edition. Now, I don't know what this is. I guess it was an overseas model. Uh, yeah, they, they give me Fords and I want nothing to do with them. As you can see, it all says new, 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 because I don't do anything. I'm like, well, why are you giving me all these Fords? Nobody wants Fords. It's a Funko Motorsport. It's, oh, it's a, it's a Holden HSV. Uh, another Funko Motorsport, which is funny. Okay, Funko. Oh, I keep thinking like Pops. Ah. Now, Holdens, I bought a couple of Holdens and HSVs. So, Holdens, I have those two. Uh, a Monaro. I never realized I had a hearse. It looks like a hearse, but okay. Hondas, I don't care anything about a Honda. If I could, I'd sell them, but they're not worth anything. Got the Hoonigan Ford, Ford, Chevy Bel Air. Haven't raced any of these. There we go, the HSV. I do like Holden because Holden is a subsidiary. It was a subsidiary of uh, GM, it was the Australian branch. Now they just kept a Holden and just rebranded it Chevy Australia. So I think that's a little spit in the face uh, to the Australians because they really have an, uh, an awesome line of Holdens. So uh, I thought they were very, 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 very good vehicles. Uh, and I did like their designs. Uh, one of them came over here for as the Chevy SS. And it's also the, the Caprice. And the, the G8 Pontiac. So we got the the Gen F GTS 2014. And then the limited edition Gen F GTS Malu uh, 2014. 
Oh, that's the one that had the, uh, uh, that was like, uh, I guess, reminds me of like an El Camino, because that's a truck on the back. International, it's a, yeah, it's a thing. Jaguar, because, uh, yeah, Jaguar, don't care about Jaguar, but hey, if you see something you like, there you go. Nothing really, oh, that's that's a $5 million, probably sell that one. Uh, now the James Bond, because I did get the James Bond pack because it was available in the limited, so I downloaded everything because you get the Aston Martin, you get the Jaguar, another Aston Martin, uh, Citroen, Citroen, I've never been 100% sure on how to uh, spell that, I mean pronounce that, Aston Martin, V8, Lotus, another Aston Martin, the DBS, the 1969 DBS, I've always liked the DBS, DB5. Now, cheap Grand Cherokee SRT, the regular Rubicon. That one souped up, I think, could be uh, pretty fun just going off road. Uh, now we have the Co Cohen, Cohen, Koenigsegg, Cohen, Koenigsegg. Uh, okay, again, something I can't pronounce and never heard it said. <laughs> Got the Expo. Is that like the Xbox? No, it's the Expo. Uh, Lamborghinis, only a couple of Lamborghinis, nothing fancy, besides uh, the Centenario. Uh, next is the Land Rovers. Yeah, cool. Local Motors, never heard of them, but I guess they're local. Ah, I get it. Get it. Okay. Lola. Not got me on my knees. Wait, that's Layla. Huh, oh, hmm, wrong. Uh,. Uh, Lotus, the only one. Only one Maserati. Mazda, don't care. McLe McLaren, McLaren, McLaren. Mercedes, hey, they, they give me stuff I care nothing about. Uh, a mini off-road racing thing. Uh, I don't know where that came from. That's nifty. Some of these are actually new to me. Uh, the Mosler. Don't know anything about this brand. I've heard of it once. I heard it's like an extreme performance, but I, I don't know. The just first time I saw it was in was in this uh, Nissan. Got the got the Nissans. Don't care nothing about the the, the GTR or the Nissans. Opal. Now that was another one uh, that was owned by GM in the UK or Germany. I want to say it was Germany. I think they sold them off, not 100% sure. If you guys know more about that, let me know. I did look it up, but things have changed since the last time. Uh, Pagani, Pagani. This was hilarious. This sucker is hilarious. I want to say this is the one that they drove in Top Gear. Oh, no, that was a G Wiz in Top Gear. Look at this thing. It literally has three wheels. How does that thing not fall over? And why is it even in this? I'm just for giggles and shites. Uh, I'm going to see how this thing can can be modded. I don't remember getting this, but that's freaking hilarious. Now, every time you log in, sometimes they'll give you new cars. This came in in a pack. Um, I actually thought this was something else. Uh, th this came in one of the packs, and sometimes when they update, it'll just automatically put stuff in your in your garage, like the Peugeot. That ew. Okay, Plymouth Polaris off road Pontiacs. I only have two Pontiacs because there's not much in this game. Unlike regular Forza, if you get the Motorsport. Where uh, Forza Motorsport, I, I want to say five has been my favorite. It's the one I had the most uh, time in. But I usually buy a ton of Pontiacs. I love the Firebird growing up. Um, and by the time I was able to buy my first car outright, uh, because I, I was, I, I got my truck. My grandfather bought me a truck uh, when I graduated high school, and then I bought. Uh, he he helped me get. Uh, my next car after that so when I went to buy my own uh, after that they had already stopped uh, production so is what it is Porsche Renault RJ Anderson yeah that's a that's a rock star get it because huh? it's a okay 
saline, got one saline, uh, haven't done anything to it, junk, I'm actually going to, how do you, oh, that's the Toyota, okay, uh, Erasmo Tamo, 2017, never heard of them, see, all right, here we go, I've got the Vauxhall, Vauxhall, I've always heard it called Vauxhall, but I'm not sure if it's like Vauxhall, like Fo, Fauxhall, Vauxhall, Vauxhall, not 100% sure on the pronunciation, but another GM subsidiary that was for the UK. And uh, you had a lot of the, the Chevys with different, I guess you can say, fascias, the, the fronts and the, and the back. And uh, I bought all, all of these. The Insignia, I think, was either the Impala or the Malibu, ran on the same platform. The VXR, uh, I think, was a Cruise. Uh, the Corsa, the, sorry, the Astra VXR. The Corsa, I want to say, was the Sonic. Uh, the Monaro was the, the GT, which is the same for the Holden. Uh, the GTO. And then the VX222, which is the Saturn Sky, if I'm not mistaken, over here. So, I, yeah, I bought all those because I, I, I like the brand. Too bad. I, I think they got sold off. Uh, Volkswagen. Don't care anything about Volkswagen. I thought that was kind of funny. And there you go. Volvo. So that's that's everything in my in my garage, as uh, our, our, our friends overseas call it. You, you, you British folk. So let's jump into... Um, Uh, what do we, let's jump into the Silverado. So I am playing this on a 1S because that's what I do a lot of my recording on. Now it does look a lot better on a Series X or the, the Series S when I do play those. And the thing is the loading is significantly faster. So as you can see, that's, that's pretty nifty. I think it might be nighttime. Yeah, I didn't do anything to this one. Yeah, I've never even drew. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I can't control it. Okay, we're going to go back. I can't control that sucker. Um, it is nifty. Boy. So, garage. That's... That's, that's pretty much it. That's all my cars. What do you guys think? I know you're probably like, ooh, Chevy, me, or a lot of people do that, but I'm like, hey, hey, I love my Chevys, I'm a Chevy man. And then, who knows, after the Camaro, like I said, I'm probably, I'm, I was thinking about getting a Corvette, but that's, that's in due time, in due time. So, I do run my truck quite a bit, and, uh, yeah, so, there you go, that's actually, take off the, uh, well, it has the, the standard bumper and then take off the sport bar. And yeah, that's, that's actually what my truck looks like. But thank you guys so much. Yeah, in the air! Oof. I've gotten to know that tree very well, by the way. See? We get in a fight sometimes. That's funny how... Let's go in the water! What? <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I know this is a, a niche video. I doubt I'm going to get a ton of views on this. But it's just something I... Oh, look at the front of that. We're going to look at this side. <laughs> so I, I know we're probably not going to get too many views, but it was just something I felt like I, I wanted to do. Mm. Um, just... Just because, why not? Uh, now I will probably be streaming this because I'm going to be streaming very, very, very soon. Just stick around, and if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll put out a lot more videos, more fun stuff, put up some news, uh, game collection tours, and game room. Check all that out. 
Uh, make sure you head on over to redbandanagaming.com for all of the latest, where you can still catch um, uh, Turtle Tuesday videos. Got some re new wrestling videos. I got Star Wars videos exclusive to the website if you want to go see more of that over there. And, well, yeah, thank you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with everybody who cares about Forza. That was in the game. <laughs> and like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. Look at that! Let's see how far we can go.